Hey guys, so I'm here to do a general love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these readings are general, they're for the collective, so if anything here doesn't resonate, just leave it for an Aquarius who needs to hear it. And remember that there is no gender in Tarot. I'll pull two separate energies in the spread. The first I'll call your energy, the second should be your person's. But if they fit better in the opposite, just switch sides. The same goes for cross watchers. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you need to book a private personal reading, that information is in the description below, as well as the pinned section of the comments. And I've also tagged my friend's channel there if you want to check her out. She's awesome. Okay, let's do it. Can you tell me about Aquarius and love, please? We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. Recurring theme. Mercury retrograde. <laughs> but, you know, is it a good or a bad thing on your end? Some people want to reconcile. So your overall energy is the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups, the Sun, Leo energy, the Hermit, Virgo energy, Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups, the Six of Wands, Six of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, the Three of Cups. Oh yeah. So there's somebody coming at you with an apology. Interesting. Hmm. I feel like this person, they just do something to you. <laughs> you. You know, it's like they're just too inconsistent. They might make you kind of like just on edge and ready to fight all the time. And you felt like the best thing to do here was to emotionally detach and kind of like look for your own happiness. Um, yeah, I just feel like you're, you're more focused on your finances right now. You're, it's like helping you to control your emotions in the situation and all you're kind of looking forward to is like, you know, success. I feel like you're just concerned with your own personal success right now, but now there's this queen of pentacles energy that wants to come in and fix things. So heavy Virgo energy here. Okay. Get this person's energy. Okay, we have Justice, Libra energy. The Ten of Wands. Chariot, Cancer energy, the Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the Lovers. Gemini energy, 
the Wheel of Fortune, Aries Scorpio, and the Three of Swords. Will they? I feel like this person's catching some serious fucking karma here. Okay, we have Justice, the Wheel of Fortune, to the Three of Swords. Okay, they, I feel like this person plays love games. Currently, they're going through some something difficult that ended painfully. The problem with this person is that they consistently, you know, and maybe it's this ending with you. Maybe the ending with you is just too painful for this person. The problem is, is that they, they really like choose to play the victim. You rejecting them as a consequence in this person's mind is like <laughs> they can, like being held accountable. Um, I mean, they, they chose this for themselves, though. It's like some decision that they made. God sourced the divine. Somebody was watching. And their karma here is a broken heart, period. It is separation. At the same time, they are... You know, they are coming in to apologize. I don't know about taking full accountability or something, but they're coming in with some kind of apology. Okay, so <laughs> tell me what Aquarius needs to know. High Priestess. Cancer Pisces energy, the devil, Capricorn energy, the ace of pentacles, strength, Leo energy, the nine of swords, five of pentacles, queen of wands, Two of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the World. Oof. <laughs> Oof. I feel Like, you just can't see past this person's, like, like devil energy. Like, you just know, maybe you know that this is, like, a codependent person, that they can't be alone, that they, they always have to be in a relationship, and that's why they're coming back around. Or this is, like, a person who's just, like, really messed up in life. You know, maybe they depend on other people, and when one thing goes to shit, they kind of, like, try to go somewhere else, you know? Either way, it's like, you're totally hip to their shit. They can't. They can't pull a fast one on you. It's interesting. I feel like the way you view this person is that you kind of have to resist them. You, need, you, you can't really deal with them at all. It's almost like you feel like you have to be completely no contact with this person. Like in your mind, they are like an attention seeker and maybe you feel like they're addicted to love or addicted to relationships. Either way, there, there's some, there's something about this person that you just fully understand and it ain't for your soul. Like that's not how you're viewing it anyway. Like to you, this has to be closed out completely that, that this person is just too fucking toxic to deal with you know like this it just seems like someone maybe a bit promiscuous or just like just toxic you know they just they need attention they need validation they it's just a hot mess of a person and they're in the middle of their karma possibly you know, or a whole like karmic thing going on here. You, 
needed to learn some things. They needed to learn some things. I don't think they're learning shit, though, but you might have. Um, <laughs> and that's why the cycle can be closed out. In the advice, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Moon. Pisces energy. Interesting. I feel like you're already taking the Divine's advice, especially with the High Priestess there. It's like you already know the answer is to just... I mean, like, this is just repeating in the advice to do what you're doing. It's kind of like ghost this energy and just do your own thing. But they don't deserve any <laughs> attention from you. I mean, like, that would be like supplying someone with their drug of choice. Honestly. But understand they are, you know, this is a very attractive and charming person. You will definitely be tempted. You may have your hard work is paying off Capricorn energy. Woods, be like the woods, calm, soothing, mysterious, and full of life and risk. Learn to grow where you are planted. I think you did that. <coughs> I feel like this was somebody that's very hard for you to release. And, but you're really committed to yourself here. Like, I feel like above anything in life all you want is peace and quiet <laughs> and that you need relationships that reflect that not hot mess stuff like this and i feel like you have been progressively working on yourself and definitely your your feelings you know it's like the king of cups is like a very mature level of emotional understanding you know but I feel like this person didn't give you a choice in the past, you know, that you got put into a situation with this person and you don't forget it. <laughs> you do not forget it. But I feel like basically the advice is to do what you are doing and that's just go no contact with this person. I mean, it just seemed very kind of, you know, I won't say like narcissist, but narcissistic in traits, you know, they just... It's all about them and the attention they can get and them being validated for, you know, just their existence and wanting a participation trophy just for being their type of energy. It's very, like, immature and it's just not, I don't know, it just, <laughs> this person makes you, I feel, crazy and you don't want, you don't want that anymore. So, you can ghost that. All right. I will see you guys soon.